Hello everyone, my name is Amina Harun. I'm a PhD student at IIIT Delhi and I'll be your TA for the course VLSI Design Flow. In the previous tutorial, we learned about the simulation based verification on a digital circuit implemented in Verilog and also the code coverage. In this tutorial, we will see how to perform RTL synthesis and mapping the synthesized netlist to a library. I will be using an open source tool called Yosis Open Synthesis Suite, but you can use any other tool as well. I have listed all the steps in a tutorial sheet that I will be referencing in this demo and that sheet will be shared with you as well. First, I will be demonstrating the steps to install the tool. For that, you should have a Linux distribution installed on your system. I am using Ubuntu, so let's begin. Go to the GitHub page of Yosis and install the required dependencies. The dependencies are installed now. Clone the GitHub repository using the command git clone and the link to the repository. It's done now. Let's check the contents of the directory by typing in the command ls. Change into the uses directory and compile the source code by typing the command make. This will take a while. make is done now. The next step is to do sudo make install. You can launch the tool by typing uses. We will see how to use the tool with an example later in the demo. We also need a technology library file. I am using Silvaco OpenCell 45 nanometer free PDK libraries. To get the file, go to this link. The link is provided in the tutorial sheet as well. First, you need to fill the form. Please fill the form correctly because these details are verified. So, your name the organization you are associated with, the company or the university name, the address to your university or the company, your email address that is associated with the organization, the phone number, choose the SI2 membership status. And finally, select the free PDK 45 library. Once you submit the form, you will get the download link via email within a day. It's just valid for three days. So please download it as soon as you get it. Let's see how we can use Yosis to generate a netlist. I have saved the required files in a directory. So I will change to Yosis underscore codes. Let's see the contents of the directory. So there is a library file, a Verilog design called top.v and a trickle script that has all the commands required for the synthesis. The Verilog file and the trickle script are provided in the tutorial sheet as well. Let's see the Verilog design. So there is input A, B, clock, select and the output out. And it has a combinational logic part defined using assign block and the sequential logic that is always block. For select is equal to 0, y is assigned a. For select is equal to 1, y is assigned b. This behavior is similar to 2 to 1 mux. At the positive edge of the clock, y is latched to out. Otherwise, out holds the previous value. 
this behavior is similar to a flip flop. Next is the library file, you can find it in the NLDM folder. Let us see the tickle script. Here the design constraint that is an SDC file is not provided. So, the generated netlist will be mapped for minimum area constraints. The first step is to read the Verilog design that is top.v. The tech map command maps to the internal library. The DFF lib map maps sequential logic part of the design to a flip flop. ABC hyphen liberty maps the assigned block. The unused extra wires and cells are removed using the command clean. Finally, the generated netlist is exported in .v format. The details of all the commands can be found here. Now launch the Yosis tool by typing in the command. The command to run the tickle script is script space yosis underscore commands dot tickle. So, this is the name of the tickle script in the working directory. All the commands are executed. Now exit the yosis with control z. Let us check the contents of the directory. Let us see the generated netlist. The input and output pins are mapped to wires and a mux and a d flip flop are instantiated from the NAND gate library file. Finally, the netlist will look like the image shown here. This ends the demonstration of uses. Thank you very much.